Hi, this week we are working on developing a keyword search. Write out your research question at the top of this worksheet. Formulate your topic in a brief statement or phrase in Section 3. Be sure to identify your main concepts here in Section 4. Stack up your synonyms and antonyms vertically in Section 5. Thesaurus.com can help you discover some synonyms. With the word protect, there are many suggested synonyms. With this question, it seems that care for, defend, and safeguard may work better than the other options. Try to find two or three relevant synonyms or antonyms for each keyword. In Microsoft Word, the Shift and the F7 command will also show you synonyms for words touching your cursor. The synonyms kids, infants, and toddlers match the need for finding information about younger children. Truncate means to shorten or take a word back to its root. Add the asterisk after the main part of the word. When a truncation code is used in the database, it finds all the words beginning with those letters. Child with the asterisk finds children, childhood, and even child. A proximity code tells the database to find two words where they are near each other within the number of words you choose. Look at section 7. In this example, we are telling the database to find the word welfare where it is near the word system within two words. When your keywords are near each other, the idea is that your sources are more about those concepts. If your keywords are far apart from each other, then they do not have a close relationship. I usually recommend the in or near command rather than the w or within command. The in means the words can come in any order as long as they are near each other within the number you choose. The w means the first word listed must come first. At this point you may want to take a quick little break. Okay, quick little break is over. This last section asks you to combine all the parts into one search statement or search string. First, enter synonyms horizontally inside the parentheses. Be sure the OR operator connects synonyms and antonyms. Replace the AND operator with a proximity operator if you think those concepts should be near each other. Here we can put an N4 to say that we want these words close to each other. The smaller the number, the closer they are to each other. Be sure to include truncated words. Once you have filled out your search statement, give it a try in the databases. Try the Academic Search Complete or CINAHL database. On the library homepage, we can see the list of databases here in the drop-down menu. I'm going to select Academic Search Complete, but you could also choose CINAHL, that's C-I-N-A-H-L, if you're doing a health sciences uh, research topic. I'm going to paste my search into the search box and click Enter. And here we see that we get 1,069 results. And if we look through these, we'll see that many of our words in our search statement or search string are highlighted in this bold font. Let's take a look at number seven. Notice that our words foster care or foster system are near each other in more than one place in this abstract. They are definitely within two words of each other. The words protection and children are also within four words of each other. So here they are, within three words of each other. So our proximity operators worked. Naturally, it makes sense to limit your results even further with the limiters on the left. I usually recommend the full text, scholarly peer-reviewed journals, and the subject thesaurus term limiters. If you have other questions, please review the keyword searching presentations in our Moodle course and the other video titled Planning Your Keyword Search. Thank you for your hard work in this class. We will see you in the forums.